Today, we're unboxing Masters of the Universe, the board game. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. Get back here this instant! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, few fun facts. My voice might give out during this recording because you might be able to tell it's a little rough. I've been sick forever, I believe, is the timeline. Um, I just put out a playthrough for uh, for something today. Actually, it came out today when I'm recording this. And I was, my voice was pretty much evaporating on camera. And uh, to help me out, I'm drinking a liter of uh, rum and coke. Technically, Diet Pepsi and spiced rum. It's delicious. Um, it's strong. Let's see how it goes. Um, let's see, what else we got here? <coughs> other, little, other little facts. Now, this box just showed up today. It's got a number one on it, and it says one of two. Now, no other boxes came. All I got was this. So either this is a dual shipment thing, maybe, or they forgot to give me one of the other pieces. I've had deliveries before where I get something in the morning and then later in the day I get something else. So, if there is more, because I don't know what's in here, I will do another unvideo, another unvideo, another unboxing video. Now, another thing I want to bring out while I start unwrapping this is, uh, as I should have a Marvel Zombies how to play video by now, but, my family, this household, has been hit with a plethora of unfortunate events that have really just messed up everything. All the schedules, all the schedules are messed up. Um, so, I was in a race, like all, it's just been a race to get everything out. So I never got a, a chance to do it yet. I will, I absolutely will. I have the script written for the how to play. I just gotta start recording some B-roll, and then gonna record some me-roll. That's what I call it when the camera's on me. Um, and then we're gonna get this party started. But then things keep coming up. And on a side note, here's a little side thing before we get into this He-Man thing. It's not He-Man related. Uh, I'll also be doing the unboxing, sorry, the how to play for He-Man for Master of the I say He-Man, Master of the Universe. Sorry, I'm an 80s kid. I loved the He-Man cartoon. Although, my mom would never buy me any He-Man toys. She had rules of how, I don't know what the rules were, but she had rules on what she would buy me. And it wasn't because they were violent, because she used to buy me G.I. Joe and Transformers, uh, which was cool. I loved G.I. Joe and Transformers, but I also liked Ninja Turtles and He-Man and a bunch of other stuff. Um, Ghostbusters. I got a few Ghostbusters toys, one or two Ninja Turtles, but she'd never buy me anything He-Man. Every time it came to He-Man, you have enough. You have enough. And I think she bought me Voltron just because she didn't know the difference between Transformers and Voltron. Which worked for me. Okay, so I went off on a tangent there because I was talking about. I was gonna say something. Oh right, let's let's get into. The, yeah, okay, I'm gonna say it now. I ah, actually just see this. Take it out, and I'll tell you. Okay, right, let's see what we got here. Oh, um, this is. I am so pumped, dude. Simon, love Simon. We're a Simon household. Simon's. Like, the Marvel Zombies was fantastic. Um, and now that they're putting out He-Man, I'm just, I'm just so stoked. I'd love, you know what would be great for them to do? Ghostbusters, because I love Ghostbusters. That had to be one of my all-time favorite cartoons and movies as a kid. And Back to the Future. If they could do a Back to the Future Ghostbusters combo, that'd be great. Um, okay. But, I was going to say, Cryptozoic did a Ghostbusters kind of zombie side ripoff which was not good. Um, okay. What's this? Oh, is this Castle Grayskull? It is! Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god, I always wanted Castle Grayskull! I doubt this one has the little slime trap door thing. I loved slime. 80s slime? Slime was in everything in the 80s. I still have some 80s toys that are sealed that have slime in them. Actually, I don't think it was 90s. I think that's when they started phasing out slime toys because I think they're probably killing children. Um, but it's fantastic. Yeah, there's probably more. I don't know if there's more. There's got to be more of this just because it's, it's, it's Simon. Okay. Open. Come out. It's heavy. Ugh. It's all right. 
This is enough for me to start the how to play video. Right after I do the Marvel Zombies how to play video. It's coming, guys. I haven't forgotten about it. Okay. And I love that they went with the classic painted artwork. It's got me like, well, it's it's like classic and new because pretty sure that's not how they drew Tila before. But it's that, that feel, like that all that promotional artwork you would see for He-Man was looked like this. And I and I love it. It's so awesome. And uh, not to mention that this it, it reminds me of the sticker book for some reason. The sticker book was from the car like these images from the cartoon. But I love that sticker book. I've only ever finished two sticker books in my life. I've started many. But uh, was He-Man was one of, them, one of them. E.T. was the very first sticker book I ever finished. I never finished my Rambo. It was the cartoon. I never finished that sticker book or any of the others. But uh, yeah, He-Man. I'm sorry, Masters of the Universe. That's the universe and ET. All right, let's bring this camera down, and then I'll tell you, share you a little bit of news that I want to share. Nothing to do with this; it's a little personal news, but I'll let you know in a bit. All right, bam! Just get this out of the way. Move this aside. Oh, baby! Now you might notice that uh, there's no plastic plastic on this, but yet I'm going to unwrap it. That's because I'm actually splicing this footage in because I forgot to actually turn the camera on after I had to fix it. So here we are. We'll, we'll get to this. It's going to be good. Use the power system. I don't know what the power system is. Uh, I actually didn't look into the gameplay of this because I normally don't. Because here's the thing. I can look into gameplay of something and all. Here's the, it's either going to me, hype, me, hype me up and then um, I'm just going to make waiting for it harder or I'm just going to forget it anyways. I, so yeah, Grey Skull was the main thing I wanted. I was a big Orko fan, but I wanted He-Man and Battle Cat. And I think I brought him up before, but my nephew got everything he ever wanted. Correction, he got everything I ever wanted. So if I told him I wanted He-Man on Battle Cat, he'd tell his mom, my sister, uh, I want He-Man and Battle Cat. There's a, me and my nephew four years apart. Um, and my me and, my, and that sister, that sister in particular, are 14 years apart. Um, so she was a young mom. I was a very young uncle. So, but I'd say, I want Battle Cat and He-Man, Battle Cat. I want the Grey Skull with the slime. And then next time I see him, he's got it. And it's, if I don't see what he opens, which I've never seen them open his toys, they're already everywhere. So, never really got a chance to play with them with all their stickers in place and everything. Because putting that all together, that was all like, it was so good. It was so good. Oh, right, my news. So. I, again, not, this is not board game related, this is personal, and I'm going to bring this up on every video because, you know what, I need, I need some help. I've never done a comic book before, and I'm putting one out now. It's called So Called Living, and I'm going to start a Kickstarter for it, which I'm not exactly sure when the Kickstarter is going to come out, but I've started it kind of like um, the upcoming projects page, so I'll put a link for that in the description below. You can click on that, and you just go, just click on the notify me when project launches button every click helps and i've never done it before it's been a dream of mine to to make a comic i've always wanted to do it and i'm just gonna finally pull the trigger and i'm gonna do it i think it's a great story no, you know what it is a great story um but what's about doesn't matter we're here to talk about master of the universe hey i didn't say he-man okay let's do this my childhood is all wrapped up in here. This, this, you know, this, this is Saturday morning to me. Uh, this is city, you know, s sitting down to watch my, all my favorite cartoons lined up, then asking my parents to buy me toys that they're not going to buy, and then that night watch some WWF, get, you know, get into the Hulkamania. This is this is bringing a tear to my eye. I love this artwork. The nostalgia is off the charts for me. Okay, box of power. I don't know what the power system is, but I'm, I'm, I'm game. Let's do this. Oh, such a clear. It's just smooth. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Is this, did I even open the right box? I think this is the game. Right? No, this is the game. Which was the game? It's got a lot of stuff in it. Power box. What's the same? Oh, the game, I think the core game's in here. It's the wrong box. You know what? We're gonna do this backwards. 
let's let's we're gonna open it as 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 it comes. All right, we're starting off with some tiles. Starting off strong. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, you might have noticed that there's gonna be some bits where I didn't turn on the the camera above, so some bits missing. But that's okay. I actually didn't get into the box before I noticed. Okay, so what do we got here? We got some tiles. And I am loving, I'm loving this like callback to the painted artwork from all the cl classic like product placements and art you'd see in in the um, in the eighties. That's cool. I'm just, I'm, oh, I got sorcerers. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just looking at these again. You know, I barely remember, um, I forgot what his name is. Oh, man. Now, here's the thing. Faker, that was his name. I'm terrible at the He-Man character names. Um, like I remember a few, like, you know, Orko, Tila, Man-at-Arms, Skeletor, Lockjaw, Hammer... Oh, it's coming. Matter, did I, I, I'm already losing it. Hammerhead? Hammer, ah, oh, I don't remember. Anyways, when I was a kid, I knew the ball, but as I'm older now, I don't remember. Like, G.I. Joe. I do a lot better with Transformers. But all of them are, like, just fading. Sorry. I'm rambling. Maybe it's the booze. Maybe it's because I'm sick. Maybe it's because I'm trying to... I'm not, I don't want to rush. I want to enjoy. But um, I'm just... I don't know. I'm everywhere. I'm having a hard time today. People are like, this guy is just too much. I know, I know. What is going on? This is a nice tray. You know, I'm getting a very, like, uh, premium quality vibe from this. Like, uh, it's a very VIP treatment type of insert and packaging. Everything's very nice. As I said, this is the main game. I opened up the power box first. So, sorry. All right, let's get it here. I know some of you are watching saying, yeah, you're, you're a mess. Maybe, maybe it's the sickness. Maybe it's the lack of sleep. It's just, it's rough. Okay, so we got, you know what? I'm not going to open these cards here. I'll open it when the camera's down. Let's just take everything aside. I like, oh, I like these little trays. Check it out. These little trays are nice. They got, like, the, uh, the He-Man sword there, which is called, I'm, why am I drawing a blank? Sword of Grayskull? I don't remember so yeah, so he's got his, his, little, his sword there. What else we got in here? Let's see. Oh, and we got a bunch of minis. Wow, we get right into it. Okay, so... Let's cover this up. Just gonna, just gonna bring the camera down. We're gonna just dive right in. Oh, it's good that they got the names over here, some of them, because I don't remember him. Ninjor? I don't remember Ninjor. I do remember Stinkor, Faker... <coughs> Too bad. Sorry, I'm a little sick. Who else are here? Snout Spout. Fisto. <laughs> Fisto. Gave up with these names. Uh, Mossman. I remember him. His toy was actually fuzzy. And Clamp Champ. I wanted Mossman, not because I even liked that character, because his character was fuzzy. And I wanted the He-Man camera, the battle damage, the one you hit his chest and spins and there's damage on it. I wanted that one. Clamp Champ. Anything with a gimmick I wanted. Dogs are losing their mind. All right. Roboto. Hero. I don't remember Hero at all. Manny Faces. Yep, I remember Manny Faces. Whiplash. Scareglow. Clawful. And Zodak. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I honestly don't remember all those guys. Oh, Thundercats. Also, huge fan of Thundercats. Also something that uh, my mom never got me. I wanted Panthro stuff. Him, I wanted Panthro in his tank. His battle cat car, whatever the hell that was called. Well, not battle cat, but you know what I'm saying. Pretty sure they had a clever name for the tank. And really, I like Chitara. As, uh, as a young and I thought she was uh, rather attractive. All right, let's see what we got here. All 
All right, I'm gonna go through these really quick. There is a lot of them. Well, they have these. These are nice because these are like full color cards. They have nice gloss. And they have one for all the characters. That is really cool. Okay, so we're gonna go through these really quick, so you can check them out, and then we'll go through the other side because the other side has a bunch of information as well. And this classic art is Amaze Balls. And is, didn't Rocket Raccoon use one of those in Guardians of the Galaxy? Did he build one of those? Pretty sure he did. Oh yeah, his toy I got to play with wasn't mine. Uh, but yeah, the Extendo Neck I thought was fun. And the turny face. Anything with a gimmick I wanted, even if I didn't, if he wasn't my main toy. Didn't really care for Buzz Off. And he didn't even know it existed. Who? King Grayskull? What's that from? what that is battle axe he man okay yep goddess tila well, this is a storyline here i'm missing out on oh yeah i remember the uh the horse with the, the, the whatever those were guns on the side i remember that guy i remember his toy actually glowed in the dark I don't remember that guy at all. Oh, these are these look fun, man. I am so pumped to play a game I have no idea how it even plays. But I will be teaching you how to play this. Because when I learn, I'll be a master. What? Terraclaw Skeletor. Oh, they went total total toy line here, eh? Hurricane Hordak? Oh, Hordak's in this? Is she in this? Because Hordak didn't exist until she after Shira existed. Am I correct? What's going on here? Change it up on me. You know what? These are different cards. We'll look at them differently. Okay, let's get this side. Let's flip these guys over and check out some of their stats. I'll go quick. Who was that? Extendar. Yeah. I feel like a lot of these characters were like, okay, what can you make our toys do? And we'll just do that. And they're like, we can cover one in fuzzy. We can make things, we can make a guy that has weapons to clip on. And uh, we can make a neck extend. And they're like, all right, we're going to make characters on that. I love, I, you know, I know it's so marketing, but I love it. I, I, I'd so be into that job. If that was my job, it's like, we can make these mechanics. Actually, that's how I started... Uh, when I started Big Blue Bubble, who was a video game company that I'm a co-founder of, um, when we started that, that was how we made our games. We were, the programmer I worked with, uh, Dahmer, Slogar, was, uh, he'd say things like, I can program this mechanic and this mechanic fairly easy. And I was like, all right, I'll make a game using those two mechanics. And, uh, and that was it. And that's how we got Captain Lunar. was one of our first games. Uh, Geeks. Um, Bubble Trouble, which was later rebranded as Popatronic. Those are really early studio games. Back in 2004. And, uh, yeah, those were good times. Those were good times. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun. It's fun working like that. Drink's getting better. Okay, what do, we, what do we have here? Okay, so... We have more extended cards. but Now, it's only art on one side. And stats on the other. Now, these are different than those, I believe. But why are they different? Because... Once I, I hit one that matches the one that's on top of the other pile, I'll show you. Unless I passed it already and didn't notice. You know what these videos are probably good for? Some factory somewhere that's just ripping off game designs. I, I show so much stuff. I'm pretty sure you just follow my videos and recreate this game if you wanted. I do not support that, by the way. Please support the people who bring you the good times. Oh, here we go. So, Fangor. See? This is, these are definitely different, but they're for the same guy. I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is. Is, is it if you're playing against them or if you're playing with them? Is that the difference? 
Now the back of these, I don't even know that we need to go through those because they're just close-ups on the art we've already seen. The art we've already seen. But everything's very nice. Whoever put together the um, the art design for this did a great job. Fun fact, um, the artist I'm working with on the comic book I'm making, So Called Living, follow it on Kickstarter, um, is, I, I didn't even realize this, he's working on a CMON project. An unannounced CMON project. Or maybe it's been announced. I uh, I found out by looking through his posts and I was like, you're working with CMON? I was like, I worked with CMON. How, like, clearly we don't talk enough. <laughs> so, I gotta see what we got here. So we got a bunch of little cards. What are these? There's a lot of text on these. Okay, so these are text heavy. So I'm not gonna go through all these. I'm just gonna kinda like jump through some of them. Because we have a lot of these. Just kind of give you an idea of what you're getting into. Because uh, as far as the art on the side, it's things we've seen before. So the same art assets are used again and again, which is understandable. They are very detailed, like art heavy art assets. Like a lot of work goes into those. As I mentioned during my last unboxing, I think my site is going. So, you're going to start seeing some videos with Mark from Glasses. And fun fact, I'm not going to mention why, but I actually ha can get contacts, like disposable contacts free. Which is funny, because you know how you're like, it'd be cool to have like a mechanic for a friend so your car breaks down and you can do that. There's all these, you know, friends with benefits, but not the sexy kind. And, um, you know, like I, Chris, all from the show, is a carpenter. He works with wood. He built this studio in this entire basement, and he, that was great. That was definitely a friend with benefits situation. Um, but there's certain friends that with benefits I haven't been able to take advantage of. For example, I can get free contacts, and I can get lenses at cost, but until now, and I'm 46, I haven't needed glasses or contacts at all, which I'm happy for, but is, is something I can get lenses for, for free. My ex took advantage of those. Anyways. Like, in a good way. I'm not saying she took advantage of them. That sounds bad. I mean, like, good for her. Wouldn't it really trip you up if I said good for him? Huh? No. I, what is this? Power system, power system controller. So these have the art on the back that just match the art we've seen already. What are these? Player, player, controller, player, player. They all say player, player, controller. So let's look at a set. So it says player, player, controller, but then if I flip them over, to Scorpia Control Fangor? Is that what the deal is? I don't know what those mean. Yeah, I know, like, Jesse over at Quackalope. I know he did a playthrough. I'm pretty sure it was Jesse. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I, don't like, I don't like watching playthroughs of digital things like that's just me i oh no there's the controller i see controller controller player and they, they're all the same that's how that works okay um but yeah i didn't i didn't i didn't watch it because like i said i i, I like watching if i'm gonna watch a playthrough i like watching physical playthroughs so um and jesse does a lot of things ahead of time so i don't usually but so when they're only digital which is great but i think i've only seen Half of one that was for um, well, watches other stuff, but his playthroughs when it's digital, I don't partake. I think uh, which one? Which one was it? It was a Simo game. Might have been the um, Undead or Alive. Might have been that one. Okay, so we have more of these. Okay, again, we're not gonna go through all these. Because there's a lot of text, so we're just gonna go through them quickly. Just like use some glances. Some of them. And these are text heavy. Oh no! Let's put those together. 
be lost forever. Okay. Let's put that aside. Again, more of that beautiful artwork. And oh, it's more controller and player cards. Don't know what that means. Don't know what any of that means. I'm sure I'm upsetting somebody. But you know what? This is unboxing. Unboxings are videos of discovery, not educational videos. Because when I do the unbox, when I do the how to play, then you'd be like, wow, this guy knows what he's doing. Right now, you're like, wow, this guy's an idiot. And maybe you're both right. Maybe you're both right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go, Orko. I love Orko. What are these? These are interesting. Lessons of the day? So I'm going to go through these. You can stop because these look interesting. If you lost today's game, you might have the urge to blame one of your teammates. Absolutely. But you should remember that they tried as hard as they could. And in the end, it's about having fun and not just about winning. Forgiving your teammates. What is this stuff? I love this, like, Saturday morning cartoon messages of positivity. And, like, I love that. I don't know what the hell is it about. But this is fantastic. Lessons of the day. Keep this deck face down. At the end of the game, shuffle the deck and draw and read one card. Oh, that's cool. So it's like the end of every episode where they give you a lesson. They have all these lessons on the cards. That is amazing. I love that. Like, I would might think of like, you know, G.I. Joe stuff where it's like, now you know. But yeah, they always had their like here's a mess like a good a good feeling message of like be like this, don't be an asshole. There don't be an asshole messages is what I like to count them. Call them. Terrain and mount. Okay. So these are the ones that say minion. What where, where those come from? What kind of magic trick was this? Did I just say I just saw terrain and mount? Oh there's minion. Because at least you are minions. Oh, this area there, minion. Ah, it's the, it's that, it's the laughing Adam, He-Man. Swift Wind. Oh, sure, it must be in here somewhere. Where is she? Those look like reference cards. What I'm assuming. Now, I'm not going to lie, I am halfway through this. And I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. I don't think I've eaten enough today. Okay. Let's check out some minis. It's going to turn into like a drunk unboxing. So if you're wondering how much rum I put in here, I put about that much rum in here. Um, whatever that is. So, somewhere between probably, no, maybe a little more. It was like seven to ten shots in here, I think. Maybe. Okay, anyways. Um, these are really nice. Let's get into the, underneath this tray. Let's look at some minays. Minays. Get out. Oh, balls. Oh, I'm drunk. It's happening. Not drunk, not drunk, not drunk. That's, that's harsh. Tipsy. I am definitely tipsy. Definitely tipsy. Okay, let's look at these. Maybe, maybe I made that drink a little strong. But you know what? I've been stressing out today. It's been rough. And I usually don't drink when I'm stressed. I usually don't drink unless it's like a drinking environment situation. Um, well, I've had I've had a few drinks on on here, but they're like light, like you can't even feel anything. This is not light. Okay. Oh, this, these look up. I 
I'm so excited for these. I'm so excited for these. Okay, let's just do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, I've been through this before. Because it's a new camera. I got a situation where it was like not focusing on what I wanted to focus on. And, eh, slippery. I'll zoom in. Okay, okay. Alright, it looks alright. Is X alright? That's alright. Well, it looks good, it's just that not one of my favorite characters. Because I don't even know him. Now this guy I do know. I can't remember his name though. But some of these guys like I only know from like toys and not the cartoon. Clearly I either missed some episodes or I just don't remember some episodes. See, if I do this, they focus. I cannot fix it. I actually don't have anything handy right now. That'll lock focus on these guys. Because I can always just touch the screen. To lock focus, but then once I change zoom levels, everything's gonna go to poo. Or not zoom levels, I mean placement. Oh, that's Ninjor, who I mentioned. I do not know. You know what? I'm going to watch it like one of my favorite episodes, and they're going to be like, I'm going to be like, oh, it's Ninjor. Apparently, I do know him. Who do we have here? Which, which He-Man is this? Oh, this could be Faker. This could be no He-Mans. It's going to be our Faker boy. I think that's Faker. It's hard to tell when he's not blue. The minis look awesome. Like, here's the thing. They look like the... Um, they're painted versions. You know, like the... That hyper-realistic paint job versions they do. His Lockjaw. He looks awesome. Like they look, they do such a good job of staying true to the characters. Well, I go speak for the guys I know. Oh man, this is gonna be so good to play. Here's the thing, I in in Toronto, where I was born and raised, in the playground is where I spent most of my days. Um, that's not true. I didn't like to leave the house. Um. I have friends that are into, you know, 70s cartoons and 70s cartoons, 80s cartoons and comic books and things that like that I am into other than board games. Now here I have a lot of board game people, but they won't appreciate, like they might appreciate, they'll appreciate how pretty it is, they'll appreciate the gameplay, but Trying to get a non blurry shot of her. When they're hunched over, you gotta get into there. But yeah, they won't appreciate He Man, because, like, they never watched it. The only person close to my age here that plays with me is Chris. And Chris, according to Brittany, was raised in a barn, where the actual reality is he was actually raised on a farm. Not raised in a barn. And farm boy Chris didn't have cable like normal people. So he didn't watch anything. Unless he was in the city visiting his, like, cool relatives with, you know, electricity. And, uh, how's Stink Stinkor? Stinko? I can't remember. Stinkor. Stinkor. But yeah, so, like, He's my, he was my best hope, and I'm sure he would have loved this when he was a kid, but unfortunately, he probably never watched it. Stinker looks awesome. Oh, there's our glow-in-the-dark skeleton. I forgot his name.
Like my buddy Phil would appreciate this. But usually I don't have a, I don't have the right combination. Phil would definitely appreciate. Yeah, I'm trying to fix this. Like my buddy Phil in Toronto, he would appreciate this. There's no watching. There's no way he's watching this video. Why? Because Phil doesn't like board games. But he would appreciate the fact that it's He-Man. And I'm pretty sure he mentioned that he would be here to play this with me. So, I gotta, well, he's, I know for sure he's not gonna come down here for me to play this with him, but I can take it down to Toronto, which I'm actually going at. I'm actually going there this weekend. So I could bring this. I'm going there this weekend for Toronto Comic Con. Because as I mentioned, I'm putting out a comic book. It's called Soul Cold Living. Follow it on Kickstarter. Link, link in the description. And, you know, just talk to people. Get to know things. Get in the game. Oh, there's... Oh, I can't remember his name is. The guy with the giant fangs. He was in the... It's like Slith... Oh, what was his name? Is he on the box? I need to know. What's his name? Oh, he's out of the box. Oh, he's right there. Fangor. A little bat he's got on them, or whatever creature. That's not, it's a flying snake. You see that? Let's zoom in on the flying snake. There you go. Neat. Oh, this is that, like, uh, Skeletor with accessories. I can't remember what his name is. I'm not going to remember the name of all these characters. Especially all their alt versions. Whoa! Even that looks like badass Skeletor. As a not average Skeletor. Skeletor. Oh, the backpacks did give away. I don't recall Skeletor having a backpack. But like, how cool are these guys? I keep tapping, tapping the screen to focus, but that's not doing jack. It's neat. I like him. Alright, here we go. There's a lot. Okay, these. there's a bunch of... Oh, these guys are tiny. They're teeny tiny, let's zoom in. These guys are a lot smaller than, here's like a regular mini. And it's focus on my fingers, of course, why not? Why, don't focus, I need the camera, like an app that says focus on minis, not my fingers. Let's see if I can fix this. Focus on the minis. There you go, mini, mini. Big difference there. They have little angry skeletors. There's a bunch of those. There's like four little angry skeletors. And then there's one upgraded like I will kick your ass skeletor. I always liked his staff. That is a prop that if I found, younger me would have bought that. I say younger me because older me doesn't have the room. Not that he doesn't want it. He just does not have the room in his adult house. But you know, great detail for such a tiny little mini. For a very mini mini. We got some, so, oh, and now we got some Adams or He-Mans. Oh, it's the laughing version of it. I love that it's that laughing version. It needs a flesh tone. Lighter flesh tone, clearly. Closer to my... He's actually really close. We're almost the same color. I'm practically He-Man. I say flesh tone, but really it depends on the color of your flesh.
I lean on the paler side of color tones. Unless I go to the sun, I actually tan well. I'm, I gotta stop drinking this, but I'm so thirsty. Ah, it's tasty. It's a good mix. Too good. Okay, so now we got... You know, uh, okay, I gotta ask. So, the what I'm guessing is like the powered down version is the laughing version. The powered up version is, is him flexing, pulling the Arnold. Ah, disappeared. Pulling the Arnold. Is all flexy. But, zoo, focus, focus. I can't, there you go. I gotta wonder, why isn't the powered up version, why isn't he holding up the sword? Doing the classic, like, you know, I have the power. Or by the power of Grayskull. Because by the power of Grayskull, it's like, bam. I, I think by the time he says, I have the power, it's in front of him. So. All right, so there's the sword. Is it the Sword of Eternia? What's the sword called? Why am I trying to blank? I feel like somebody's going to tell me. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, why didn't I know that? I don't know. We got a sword in the stone situation over here. Do these come out? No, that's, they're attached. Just so you know, they're attached. They do not come out. <coughs> and then we got some boulders. Why? Why not? Because we're going to be throwing some boulders? I don't know. Hey, that was one layer. Now we've got another layer, and these look slightly bigger. Now, I'm guessing the... Um, I don't know. I'm, trying, I'm, looking, I'm just glancing. I'm not really examining. I just want to see. It's like there's the flesh tone guys, which I'm guessing... I see, again, my flesh tone. Um, they're the good guys, and the... Oh, they're, they're, these all look like good guys. And mounts. We'll, we'll see. Here we go. First of all, I really want to... I'm excited to see this one. Yeah. Oh, let's zoom out. Shears Steed. Loyal Flying Pegasus. Who, uh, I said the name earlier because I read it and then already forgot it. Swiftwind. Ha <laughs> ha. I remember it. You know, as a kid, I really liked Shira. I did, because it was like more He-Man stuff. And I was like, it's cool, this is his cousin. Like, I was into spinoffs, man. I can see why they made them. But I've seen Shira as an adult, and I prefer He-Man. Well, I always preferred He-Man, but the gap really increased as an adult. And I'll still watch that Dolph Lundgren movie. I'll do, I will. Try to stop me. You can't. Okay, we have Adam's mommy, the uh, queen of Eternia. We have his daddy, which, you know, everybody here is buff. But, you know, who's, saying, who's to say they're not? This is an alien planet. Who's to say there's not an alien planet where everybody's just jacked? Everybody looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You don't know. And they could be in their genetics. Like, why do aliens always have to be these, like, lengthy, lanky freaks? Like, maybe they're all just beautifully muscular people that all run the same way. There's Adam. Prince Adam. And we got Cringer. Yeah, buddy. It's okay, little pussy guy. You don't have to be afraid. I love that. I love it. I love that he's cowering. That's amazing. That's awesome. This might be my favorite so far. And Battle Cat. Something about Battle Cat. Doesn't he have a... Does he have a helmet? Hold on. I gotta find a picture of Battle Cat. Battle Cat doesn't have a helmet. So this isn't Battle Cat. No. That's why. This is, uh... 
What's his nuts? Skeletor's cat. Panthro, or whatever his name is. I was like, something looks wrong with this battle cat. It's Panthro. If that's his name. Because Panthro is the character from um, Thundercats. It's the purple panther. There you go. There's Battle Cat. That would be a better transition from um, Cringer. I like, really, did they name him Cringer like at birth? Because that nickname he picked up? Because that makes more sense. Naming. Naming your, your your buddy cat, a talking cat, mind you, Cringer, when he's a baby at birth, is really just, just some nasty labeling. Now, drinks are fun and all, but I gotta keep it together to edit this video. Ooh. That's a pretty flower. I wonder if they pulled that from an episode. Like, I don't remember the episodes enough to, like, you know, remember the foliage. And there's three of those. I mean, yeah, this. This seems like a very poison. Oh, there's like, this is totally like Feed Me Seymour situation we're getting into here. I love these, though. These look great. These are environment pieces. I'm assuming that mess you up. These are fantastic. I really, something about these flowers, I really like them. I'm really enjoying these. Okay, now we got a bunch of my flesh tone, which look all like heroes from here. No, yes, yes, I think they're all heroes. We'll see. Oh yeah, look at this guy. This is the, um, one of their otter ones. The guy with all his limbs, I think, stretch. Well, yeah, sure. They might have jumped the shark on some of these. But, uh... I mean, how fun is it to jump a shark, right? Oh, no. I really hope the... You know, generation of like, the next generation, the younger generation of the next generation, I don't know, whatever. I'm rambling now. This is the news rambling. Um, Xavier, for example, my boy. I'm hoping that I can get him to watch some of the things I used to watch and him enjoy it. He's not at the age yet where he can quite understand what's happening. He likes musical-related things. But, you know, I've kind of started the brainwashing already. I've... Whoop, I've, uh... I got him watching, like, Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music. Because he likes musical things. I was like, what do I? What did I like from my childhood? That was musical. There's some mad at arms here. And he liked those. Nice. But I want. I, I hope I can get him to watch. Like I, I, I know it's selfish, but yes, I want him to live my childhood, but a better version. Like I want to take him to Disney. My parents would never take me to Disney. Never. They would take me to like Portugal and El Capoco and being like. This is so much better. Portugal is beautiful. Let's go walk in the garden. It's a beautiful garden. I'm going to tell you this. No, and here's if your parents, you're wondering. No child at the age of like eight or nine wants to see the gardens in Portugal. They might say yes, but they'd rather go to Disney. That's my opinion. Just telling you. So... I'm, I'm headed to... Oh, here's a goddess. I think it was goddess. Goddess Tila. So anyways, I want to give Xavier... I want to ex expose him to the best of my childhood. And then block out the nasty parts and replace those 
people with awesome bits. Awesome new bits that are just mine and his. Oh yeah, there's that eagle. I don't know what that eagle's called. It's like a... I don't know if it was a robot eagle. No, it was an armored eagle. And I vaguely remember. Was it Mad at Arms? Is eagle? Like, what is the deal with eagle? It's kind of actually hard to, kind of hard to make this guy out. Ah, the sorceress. Now... Fun fact, I uh, had a bit of a crush on the sorceress when I was a child. And uh, I also had a crush on... Uh, if you ever guys watched Cops, there was the... Uh, the thief and uh, she was the she was one of the bad guys I think she was like a cat burglar I thought she was very attractive don't tell Bernie now it's it's cute if I was like nine but then we're gonna do the math and find out I was like 16 it's possible I wasn't popular you know what? Don't judge me. It's okay to have a crush on cartoons. Who's it gonna hurt? Nobody. I swear that's the same thing Rocket Raccoon created in Guardians of the Galaxy. I see the inspiration. I'm trying my best to get this. What's it? How's that? Is that focused? No, that's less focused. I don't know this guy, but I'm so curious. He's is he like got like a rock back? Does he transform into a rock and then he just comes out and he's like, oh. He comes out and he's like, I got satellite service. Because here's another one. Another rock. So I'm assuming these guys were rocks. Because it was a big, you know, because Transformers was a big thing. So everybody tried to make a toy that transformed from one thing to another. So I'm guessing these guys were transformed into rocks. Ah, I keep dropping them. They were transformed into rocks. And then they come out with their satellites, off offering satellite services. I don't remember these guys at all. Like, not even a little. Like, Roboto? Was that, was that this guy's name? Was he made by Man at Arms? Makes me want to go back and watch it. Okay, so that's Moss Man. So these aren't all heroes, but, you know, because Moss Man was a bad guy, wasn't he? Wasn't he? He wasn't. I've stopped paying attention to who I've... Not paying attention, but I've stopped tracking who I got here. Maybe they're just playable characters. I don't know. Maybe Mossman's a good guy. Don't remember. Mossman might be a good guy, now that I think about it. It's been a while. I remember this horse as a toy. I do not remember him in the cartoon. I'm pretty sure I've played with this horse. I don't remember who's riding. But the attention to detail on these are great. Like, they nailed all these characters. Like, bravo, right on. Even the characters that I'm like, who are you again? Right. Obscurio. That's not his name. That's just... 80s cartoons had so many characters in them. You know, they got to sell those toys. And then suckers like me bought them all. I say suckers, but I loved every second of it. And I'll do it for Xavier. Is that Hero? Hero? Hero. I don't know, because I don't know who Hero is, but I, like, love that, the corniness level of that name.
Oh yeah, and there's the the B guy, which I don't remember his name, and I don't remember him being very popular, but I do remember him being. When I say popular, I mean like popular am amongst my friends. I don't remember people really liking the B guy. But I didn't dislike really anyone. And Sideshow Collectibles has put out some crazy sculptures of like Evil Inn and Skeletor that are just like... <laughs> if I wasn't spending all my money on board games, I'd have those. Oh yeah, here's like... I'm going to kick your ass, supercharged, uh, supercharged He-Man. Got to get a little closer on this guy. He's, there you go. Oh, it hurts us. Keep still. My, my, the color of my skin is not the best backdrop. But he looks so, like, intense. Could you imagine this guy coming at you with an axe? Like, you're just gonna die. He is out to kill. He's not out to, like... like may, he's either out to kill you or scare some raccoons out of his trash. One or the other. There's no in-between. Oh, and there's Ex Extendo, or I don't know what his name is. I, I just guessed. But I did like a lot of the simplicity of their names, where there was a lot of, like, Extendor, or Serpador, or Stinkator. I've got, like, all those names wrong. But that was, that was the power box. And then let's get into the main box. And then we're going to open up... I want to see Castle of Grayskull, because I wanted Castle of Grayskull... Forever. I also wanted Unicron, which I never got. Uh, I did get the G.I. Joe base. I did get the G.I. Joe base. So, I was happy with that. I still have it. That's right. I was one of those kids. I took very good care of my toys. And I still have them all. Except for the ones that were stolen. Or broken by other children. The only toy I broke, like I broke bad, was Soundwave. I did something stupid. And I regretted it. Instantly. That's Transformers though. We're talking He-Man. Speaking of He-Man, let's open up the core box. Yeah, it's backwards, but let's do it. Wassa and Subman. Alright, now. Um What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Um I don't, really, I don't recall. Did I mention that trick is Wrong. It's making me forget about my sore throat, though. That's good. Come on. All right, so now we're getting into Cla Clash for Eternia. So the actual core box. We did this a little back ass words, but you know, stuff happens. Um, that was like the drunkest thing. I was like, shit happens. I said on here. Open the lid. Okay. Bam. Here we go. This seems very core boxy. So we got the rule book. Any guesses on how many pages are? I'm gonna guess. On based on this, thirty-four pages. Thirty-four pages, my guess. 23! Wow, I overshot that. 23, that's a glossary. Hmm. Alrighty. So my plan is to take this on the train to me to Toronto. And I'm going to take the just the core box. I'm going to take the core box with me. Not the extras. Well, I do want to take the Castle Grayskull. But I'm going to take the core box with me. And I'm going to try to read this on the ooh, train. I don't know if I can. I have a lot of things going on, but I really, 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 really want to play this. 
so bad. So bad. So bad. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Anyways, so we got a scenario book here. All right, more scenarios, okay. All right, all right. And what do we got here? Our game board, which makes sense. It should have shown up eventually, and it obviously would show up in the core box. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got a very simple hex grid pattern happening here. But it looks nice. Like it's not just simple, like it's not just direct lines. It looks like it's got some texture. It looks like stone. It does a great job. It's got the branding right here, which is interesting. And it's a good quality feeling board. Now, um, and it feels safe that I can maneuver this without it tearing. And I say that because if you go watch my last unboxing, we're not going to name names here, you can just go watch the video. And when I, sh when I brought out the, and it's not a Simon game by the way, but when I brought out the, the game board, it tore. For shame. Alright. Let's put this over here. Oh! 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 I love it. They worked in the 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 thing, the meme, the video. The oh, it's awesome. They worked that in. I don't know. Was that from the original? That it just exists from the meme. That was just that's so awesome that that's here. I love it. Like this, this is catering to the fans. I freaking love that. I love the rainbow atom. And the artwork on the back of these are great. We're going to get a closer look at these when, uh, when we bring the camera down. I'm just going to keep it up until we see what we got here. All right. So, oh, this is those cards you go there. Controller, player, controller, player, etc., etc., etc. Now, I don't know how the game plays at all, so this makes no sense to me. Oh, we have a bunch of tiles in here. Look at the big board tiles. Alright, so we got some... And you know... It's it's not overly textured, where it's like just it looks like just a noisy mess. Like I like how it looks like shiny water, and you got this like purple stone, and the fact that it's a purple stone, and we're accepting it because you know Eternia. There's the sword. Aha. Some trays here, and that looks like Simon. This is like I know you put your cards there, and because they've got this little dent, you can just like push it down. And the cards lift, so it's easy to pick up the cards. Simon's nailed those the way they make them, and all the stone etching the details very reminiscent of the toy line. Yeah, again, you see those indents to flip, the, take the cards out easy. These tracks something. I see lightning bolts. So must be oh, that must be the power system. So we got a bunch of those. We got four of those. We got four of these bad boys. I got like the etching of the logo. It's nice. And then I get some minis. Get some cards. Okay. We're gonna look at this up close. never done an unboxing backwards before as in you know the expansions and then the core box but um hey hey yeah, i just want to see this again <laughs> i love it i love it that's awesome so here's the the tokens something about this makes me want to collect pogs again you guys have some pogs i have a lot of power ranger pogs 
And I wasn't a Power Ranger fan, but Pogs came out and that was a thing, so I jumped on board. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we got some... So is it the Sword of Eternia? I don't know. Sword of Grayskull? Sword of Power? Whatever. Can't remember. So, there's these that I like. I like the black with the uh, gold icons. This is gold, right? I believe. The, I'm getting a gold vibe. So these are nice. Okay, so oh, nice plastic dice. I like the, the gold on the black. Do they work? Do they work? By the power of Grayskull, they work. Like the sorceress would let us down. Ridiculous. All right, what do we got here? We got some gold bits. You know, I don't have any cubes of this color. It's like um, a dirty gold, which I, I really like this. Again, it matches the aesthetic of everything. The guys who are at CMON really know how to like pull together and tie in the aesthetics of an IP, uh, intellectual property for you uh, people that are wondering what an IP means. It's not an IP, it's intellectual property. Something like He-Man or uh, Transformers or J.J.O. Those are all IPs. All right. Oops. Let's pull out some cards. Again, a lot of these we're not going to look through all of them because, as you saw before, they're just mostly text. But there is some new art that we will take a gander at. Speaking of taking a gander at things, don't forget to take a gander at So-Called Living on Kickstarter. I mean, I keep making videos to promote other people. Might as well make some videos. Might as well promote myself a little bit. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so let's just take a quick sneak peek of these. I'm not going to go through all of them. Right. Whoa, wait, those, those are different. Whoa, no, they're falling out of my little hands. Oh no, oh no. Where did that card come from? I'm making a mess. I really don't hope those didn't have to be in order because I just made a mess of those. Okay, so I uh, kind of dropped that a bit. But we're good, we're good, we'll be good, we'll be good. Okay, so these green ones here Okay, close up on the art, which I'm sure we're going to see on another card. So I'm not going to go through all of these because we're going to see all their art somewhere else for sure. Oh, and it's more of those player controller things. I'm really curious what those mean. I'm just fascinated about how this plays. Oh, love the art on that. Oh, it's a fan of the Evil Inn. And Skeletor. I think I call them Lockjaw. It's Trapjaw. Lockjaw is from Marvel. It's the dog. Oopsie. Alright. Let's put those cards away. Let's get, you got a little glimpse of those. Now let's figure out what's in here. Now that I say Trapjaw, it seems like that was the obvious... I should have said that the whole time. Well, I should have because that would have been the right answer. But like Lockjaw there seems wrong. But you can understand my confusion. Okay, so we have some reference cards. Player aids. And there's a few of those. So can you play five players? I'm guessing by this. But we don't... Hold on. Does one player play the bad guy? Because we only have four trays. We have five player aids. Hmm... Maybe I need to learn a bit about this game before I do the how to play. Terrain. I guess we got some terrain cards, NPC, uh, elite minions, some run-of-the-mill minions, and AR rule strategy activation. Okay. Some strategy activation, character activation. Okay. 
just show you some of these. You don't have to see all of them. So we got some text heavy cards, which, you know, as a viewer, might not be very exciting, but when you're playing, I'm sure they're kick ass. I remember him. Wasn't wasn't he like one of Hordak's things? Isn't that a Shira thing? Maybe I'm wrong. Well, we've seen the minis for these. I guess that's reference for what those location those tiles do, or how they act, or how you react to stepping on those tiles. All right, now we're getting into some more awesome artwork. Let's go through this fairly quick. Here's Panthor. Evil Lynn is looking kind of yellow. Beast Man. Skeletor. Stratos. Ah, okay. oh, Tila. Yes, Orko. Orko was awesome. Ram Man. That was it. I think I was trying to guess his... Ah, I was trying to guess his name earlier. And failing hard. Ram Man was also one of the toys I wanted. I believe his head popped up. So these are different. Um, let's save those. Let's look at the other of these. Oh, so here's where you get all the the full art. I'm gonna flip those through those. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are double sided. Oh, but those are not human skeletor. Oh, not actually. Those that's mount. That's their mounts. That's uh, the battle cat and panthor mount. Let's look at these cards. Again, everything's got a very high quality feel to it, which I appreciate. I feel like this is a, the components are this are like top notch. Even the cards, like the size of them, the quality of them feels great. Okay, let's push those aside. Let's go with these guys quickly. Well, you know, well you've seen, you'll see their artwork full scale here. There you go. I want to see this mini. I haven't seen this mini yet. Or have I? I don't think I have. I definitely haven't seen an Oracle mini. I want to. I'm going full Orco. Alright, we only got one box of minis left, and then we're opening up. <laughs> the Plastic Castle Grayskull. I like how they said Plastic Castle. What else would it be? Would it be resin? Would be actual stone? Go oh, Plastic Castle Grayskull. Okay. Right. Oh! I saw a silhouette of he -Mon. Also known as He-Man. You guys ever watch the toys that made us on Netflix? You should watch it, especially if you're. You should definitely watch it. It's good even if you were in an '80s kid. You learn some interesting things. He Man's one of the episodes. All right, what do we got here? You zoom in. These guys are tiny. They're not like extremely tiny. See, these are the guys that I thought belonged to Hordak. But maybe I'm wrong. I do remember these little flying robots. What is this? Oh. I don't remember this at all. But, uh... I see it looks violent. Kind of like a, a monkey gorilla troll. Unicorn. Definitely looks angry. Definitely looks angry. It's two of those guys. And the little robots was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right? Eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. Miscounted that completely. Now, man at arms. Oh, this isn't man at arms. This is his lackeys, I believe. These are the. Uh, 
the men at arms ish the men at arms side because yeah they had a bunch of um i forgot yeah they had a but all the regular soldiers kind of look like low-level men at arms I'm pretty sure they did they all had the same like gear Yeah, because there's, there's more of them. So, I don't remember. The basic soldier? See me? And these look like some sort of elite guard. You can tell they're elite when you don't see their faces. Okay. There's only a few left. And then the big castle. Right, so we got, these are slick, why are they black? I don't think I've ever seen them black before. They've always been like a collection of colors. But all right, all right. Okay, that's man at arms. You can tell by the mustache. Tila. Our favorite. I'm trying to find the sweet spot so she's in focus for you guys. You know, I don't even remember the Tila toy. Orco. Actually, I don't remember the Orco toy either. Pretty sure there was one. Pretty sure I asked for it and was denied. I dig Orco. Oh, I like the jetpack. to be confused with whatever I called them in the beginning of the video. Ramen was always so, like, just a stocky beast. Like, he's just this muscular character that looked like he was four feet tall, but really he's probably as tall as us normies. Uh, I say us normies because I'm, like, five, seven and a half, so I'm not, I'm not the tallest person. Actually, I'm not the tallest person in this house. Why well, is that saying much? Anyways, I guess compared to, I mean, he's a he's a massive, massive specimen of a person. But compared to, I guess how tall everybody else is, because they're all like Mr. Olympians, he looks rather short in comparison. And then we got the man himself. Yeah, his sword's a little bendy, but we can fix that. We can fix that. We're not gonna fix that right here because we don't want to break anything. Let's get close, get a nice close look at him. Detail is really good, but I don't think the flesh toned plastic, this light beige, um, really comes off on camera to showcase the detail on these guys. Zoom out a bit. Yeah, so sword's a little got a little bit of a curve in it. Nothing I can't fix. It looks good. Looks good. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a great like 
Battle Cat He-Man pose. I feel like I've had that sticker. This looks so powerful. Very nice. And then here's his counterpart, Skeletor on Panthor. A little more chill. He's coming in with the magic, not so much the rage. Really cool looking. Looks really good. I like them on the mounts. And and there you go. There's our full Skeletor. Our proper Skeletor. Not the souped up deluxe edition. Just our I'm here to kick your ass He-Man Skeletor. Uh, Beastman. Beastman was always fun. Take a look. You get close on his face. There we go, and there we have not lock jaw, trap jaw. Can you see his jaw? Definitely more of a trap, not a lock. And he's ripped. Like, I don't think he gets credit for, like, he's that guy that's, uh, you know, he's always around, but you don't expect him to be jacked. And then you, you go to the beach one day and he takes off his shirt, and you're like, whoa, you work out. I didn't realize. Okay. Ah, this is Evelyn. She's awesome looking. So these I have to zo really zoom in on. Because I want you to get a good look at them. What was the Cyclops? Triclops. That was it. Because he didn't have one eye. He had three. They just spun around. I think. I'm pretty sure I just actually played with his toy recently. Like I was at somebody's house and they had him. Or I was at a store and it was in a bin. And Merman. I'm going to end it off with Merman. Looks good, looks good. All right. Now, only one thing left to see. Castle Grayskull. I'm excited. So let's get this stuff out of the way. We will sort this. Lator, which could very well be a name of a character from Masters of the Universe. Okay. There it is. So, this is the box. Let's see if you can see it. Alright, just, you know, brown box, simple. It's got the image of Castle Grayskull on it. I'm sold. I love that it says Plastic Castle Grayskull. Nothing else. This doesn't say Plastic Minis, I don't think. I don't remember getting Cthulhu from Simon and saying Plastic Cthulhu, because it might have been the real one. But you know what? I've made Cthulhu. It might have been made out of plastic. It's, it's the right color. It's the color of the toy. It's green. It's awesome. I wish this crack here. It's awesome. I love that it's green. It's 
Hey. Hey. Hey, you see my voices? I'm losing my voice. That's awesome. Oh, it's... It's like... It's a, like almost like a, it's like a piggy bank. It's made like a piggy bank. Let's see if I can get this all on camera for you to see. It's pretty big. Huh? I'm going to move this back. All right. I have to use uh, a, 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 the wide lens, which I don't think I've ever used in, a, in an unboxing. But check it out. Because it's so chunky and big and awesome. I love this thing. It feels like a piggy bank, like something you'd get as a kid, and you'd be like, I love my Castle Grayskull piggy bank. Like, that's... That's so wicked. I love it. Does like, this open? This has got to open. This has to open. Oh, yeah. <coughs> it has a tongue. I didn't notice the drawbridge had a tongue. Is that a thing in the cartoon? I never noticed. This looks fantastic. I absolutely love this thing. Can't go in there. You can't go past the door, but... That's awesome. I feel like I just want to put a slit in there and use this as a piggy bank. It's fantastic. Now this sits on here. Or, more accurately, sits on... Here, there you go. That's close enough. It's a little, it's a little rocky at the moment. Maybe there's a way to pin that down. I don't know, but that's what I'm dealing with right now. How cool is that? That's awesome. I'm so happy. I wonder if characters can stand on here because there's like flat, big flat spots for them to stand on. And then there's this, which looks like definitely a part of the level. Does it lock into this? I don't think it does. I'm not sure how this incorporates. Oh, hold on. Maybe it's a this situation. Hmm? Maybe? I don't know, but I like it. I like I like that this is a possibility. <laughs> and then it came with a bag of this. There's no rule books or anything in there, so I'm guessing this just plays whatever it does is in the regular rule book. What is this? Is it a flag? So we get like a capture the flag situation, is that what's going on? So that where you do you, do you put that up here? See what I did there? Is that where it goes? I don't know. And we got these things. Whatever they are. We got a ladder. That's cool. Looks like there's a space for a character to stand here too, because the door doesn't open, but there's a little platform. Can I go in here? Is there a place to put a ladder? Looks like it fit in here. There you go. I don't know if that makes sense, but it fits in there. And then you got like guns. This looks like all stuff you could put in the castle. Oh. And then you got. Oh, you didn't see the laser guns. So I got a little ahead of myself. And then you got this little armory closet thing. That's awesome. All right, well, that was it for our unboxing of Masters of the Universe, the board game. Yeah, we did it backwards, but I love that we ended with this. I love this so much. This makes me so happy. That's a great way to sign off. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing as much as I did. It, was, it makes me so happy to have this in the house. I, I hope I can do you proud with the how to play. And, uh, and that is all. I will see you guys next week.
Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.